Hey there, it's Asia from KachabiExpress.com from Barcelona this sunny, sunny, sunny Saturday. This week, this week was crazy. I worked so hard to have Kajabi Experts site ready and it's now launch. It's now the first version of Kajabi Experts is there. You can check it out. You can go to kajabiexperts.com to see what I've built using the Kajabi, the new Kajabi services. So the whole page is built using new Kajabi. There's a lot to come. So make sure to sign up, to subscribe and to keep updated with all the news that will be coming in the following weeks to kajabiexperts.com but now let's go for what really matters so uh, let's learn something new this weekend let's learn how to Im implement how to add our convert kit form something that a lot of people has been asking how can i add my forms my modal forms into my kajabi platform so we're gonna see in this video how we can get a form it can be either an inline form or a modal form and how we can put it inside our kajabi sales pages inside our kajabi post pages uh, static pages or whatever let's see because it's really really easy to do i will show you how to do the basic stuff for the most basic kajabi users and i will show you too how to do the more advanced editing uh, editing your theme so you will also see a little bit of code don't be afraid try it out and you'll see how beneficial it is and you will learn as always something new and something fun let's go ahead let's see how we can do that so i'm inside the form section and we're gonna select a form because we want to create a form not a landing page here you can select a predefined style for starting with i'm just gonna select this one but you can choose another one different if you want and here, as you probably know, in ConvertKit, you can customize it and you can say test form, whatever, and change your content, save it. I'm also going to rename it. I'm going to call it um, test form. OK, so what you need to do now is you have to come to the style. And you have to choose, well, here you can also change the style as we were doing previously, but you need to choose how are you going to show this form. You can choose different um, ways. You can choose inline, you can choose modal, and you can choose also sliding. I'm going to go for modal so you see how to do this modal inside Kajabi. Here we have some options. We can say exit intent, score percentage, timing after several seconds. For now, I'm going to say exit intent, but you can play with it. You can choose whatever you want. Also here, they tell us that we can manually trigger the, the modal by adding a link, but I'm not going to cover this in this video because that's not the point from this video and I show well, more, more, more settings here, custom CSS, whatever and some other options. I'm going to save the form. And now I'm going to go on the embed code. Well, you have more options here, like incentive mail, Twitter cards, whatever. I'm going to go to embed because we're going to see how we can embed the, the form inside our Kajabi. Okay, so there are uh, ConvertKit offers two options for embedding uh, our forms inside Kajabi. So, well, inside Kajabi or inside any of our pages. We have the easiest one that is just copying this code or we have the uh, copy and customize that we can manually change that. I, as I'm more advanced, I like usually, like advanced user, I like usually to get this code because that way I can change the button, change the text or whatever. But you, if you are a more basic user, you can just directly copy this. OK, so I'm going to copy. Let's let's do both. I'm going to copy first this, the, the easiest one. I'm going to copy the line and I'm going to go to Kajabi. I just created a sales page, a test sales page that we can preview here. It has nothing. So it's empty and I'm going to paste it 
in the source code. So remember this option that the guys from Kajabi added recently, source code. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna paste the code, hit OK, save it. And now, although you don't see anything here, if you hit again in source code, you see that it appears. Now we're gonna go to preview and we're gonna try it out. So basically I'm gonna try to do like I exit the page and you see that the form is appearing. So you see how easy it was to add our form on the page and to have everything here. So as I was saying, there are several different options to, to embed our form inside the page and this was the most basic one and we have then the second more complex this is for a little bit more advanced users so if you if you're really hard uh, on touching code on or editing uh, your theme um, i suggest you that you use the basic one but if you want if you love challenges and you like doing uh, more stuff here you can customize it you can do whatever you want for example in in our case we will we will see how to embed this code the complete code and we're going to remove this powered by convertkit because honestly i'm paying for convertkit so i don't like my users to see that this form is powered by them it's nice to have we are helping them but i'm paying for a service it's not like i'm using a free service so i would like to remove this Okay, how we can do that? Let's go for this. Um, we have two options. As always, there are two options in life. <laughs> they tell us that we can copy all of this code and paste it somewhere. And we can do that. We can just copy it everywhere. Copy, go here, search code, paste it, save. And preview. Now it should work. Whatever, it, whatever, if you do this and it doesn't work, you try to exit and it doesn't work. Like it's my case. Like it must, it's my case now. Think that uh, it can happen because what the first time it's shown the model box, it's saved in a cookie. So the browser has a cookie that says this model has been shown. Don't show it again. But if you uh, get this URL and you open a new private window, a new incognito window, you can do it in Chrome by file, new incognito window, and you try it here, it should work. Let's move around, let's try to close the tab and you see that we get the form. Why it works here with the, with the incognito window and it doesn't work in the other window because the, the what I said, the cookie, and when you open a new incognito window, it comes without any cookie at all. So that works. So now let's go and, uh, well, before, before customizing it, let me show you what I wanted to show. Because uh, as I was saying, the guys from ConvertKit tell you that you have to insert all of this code, but insert, inserting it every time makes the site like with a lot of, lot of duplicated code. So what I, will, what I like to do, because I like to do things well done, good done, is uh, I'm going to Kajabi, I'm going to the theme, uh, I'm gonna do it in this theme, not in my uh, actual theme, so in Primo site, I just install it quite new. And I'm gonna go to more, edit HTML and CSS code. As I was saying, this is a little bit more advanced. So if you're afraid of this, just go for the basic option and forget about this. So now I'm gonna go to layouts and theme.liquid. Here we have our head part of the theme. Here we're gonna insert one part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this code and I'm gonna put it in a new editor. So it's it's a uh, better to see it, so we can see it more clear. I'm gonna put some colors here, so it's clear for you. 
okay so this is the basically i just copied the code from here and pasted it here so it's uh, easier to see the code there is one line that is the script line so we can separate in three parts this code this code there is the script line here first line then we have the elements so it starts here and goes all the way down until here and then we have the style so there is the third element I'm gonna separate this that is the style and this is all the styling of the form what we're gonna do is the following we're gonna copy first the style but without this style type text okay so we're gonna copy this part from here until the end but without the style without this style so until here make sure to follow my steps and uh, you will have it working and everything will work will work fine that's why we have the video so you can pause you can do it you can move um, forward come back okay so copy this part go to kajabi the theme and go sorry i said theme first we're gonna go to assets and the styles dot css that is somewhere around here here so inside assets styles dot css we're going to go to the last line at the end and here we're gonna insert insert a new line and we're gonna paste our code so as you saw i just inserted a new line and i pasted the code and we can save the styles file okay now it's safe we can now delete this because we are ready, we are already done with this now we have the uh, first part the script i'm gonna copy the line i'm actually gonna cut it i'm gonna go to now yes in theme.liquid and i'm gonna go to the end and before the closing body tag as you can see here we're gonna insert a line with the script this script that, you, that we just copied i'm gonna save the theme and now we just we are just missing with one part we just need this last part i'm gonna copy this part that basically starts with the dip here and ends with another dip this is gonna be the form that you're gonna embed always so whenever you create the, this part that we just did now just by doing it once in your theme is enough now whenever new form you create you will just need to copy this deep deep all this content and paste it in this the page that you want for example the sales page the sales page the uh, post page or a static page or whatever again we go to source code now we delete everything and we paste this deep just this deep 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 again i'm going to show where i got this so if you now create a new form you will just need to copy from here so below the script to before the styles so a little bit longer here before the style so you will just need to copy this the other part will be already embedded in our theme i paste it here okay save preview remember to do it in an incognito window otherwise it might not work and let's see if it works so we go to close it and here we have our phone now yes let's customize it so let's remove the powered by convert kit it should be pretty easy to do we're gonna go to our code the source code and we just have to find the powered by convert kit you can use the uh, command f or control f and powered by convert kit. here we have it so we're gonna remove from the starting of the a to the end of the a so you see a class blah 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 powered by convert kit and it closes so we just delete this we hit ok and now we can save 
preview again and again incognito window we try it out and we have the powered by convert kit removed uh, you will see that I have uh, some stylings here for my form and that's how because th there are things that appear uh, differently that what you will see in your in when you try it out but it's because I I because I have the Kajabi experts theme now active so that's why it appears different so that's it you see how easy you can add your ConvertKit forms inside your Kajabi themes and pages. Mm -hmm.